Hello and welcome to all of you on your own channel. Today our topic is the lizard bird or the Archaeopteryx lithographica. The lizard bird or the Archaeopteryx lithographica it is basically a fossil. It is basically a fossil bird which was excavated for the first time in the rocks of Solenhofen uh, of Jurassic period by Andreas Wagner by Andreas Wagner in 1860 from Bavari Germany it is the place from where this fossil was first of all excavated so we say that the Archaeopteryx lithographica, which is commonly known as the lizard bird, its fossil was first of all found in the Jurassic period rocks in uh, this Bavari, Germany by Andreas Wagner. It belongs to the category of toothed extinct birds. So it belongs to the category of toothed, toothed extinct birds birds these birds are now extinct they used to have teeth like that of the reptiles that is why we, sh we say that these lizard birds or the archaeopteryx lithographica or toothed birds they are connect sorry they are missing links between the reptiles and the birds they show the possible pathway from uh, through which the birds have evolved from the reptiles now regarding their origin they originated in the jurassic period they originated in jurassic period it is the jurassic period in which these toothed birds originated and they became extinct in the cretaceous period cretaceous so this was the period in which they became extinct so they originated in the jurassic period and they became extinct in the cretaceous period after that when we see the features of this lizard bird we say that it shows some of the characters of birds and some of the characters of uh, these reptiles. The reptilian characters, the reptilian characters, of this <laughs> lizard bird are as it possessed toothed jaws. The presence of toothed jaws in this bird is a reptilian feature. The modern birds do not have toothed jaws, but these uh, uh, fossil birds, these toothed birds, do had the toothed jaws, and this character of theirs resembles with the reptiles. Another feature which resembled with the reptiles was long tail they had a long tail with free caudal vertebra so they had a long tail all the toothed birds had a long tail with free caudal vertebra and another very important feature was that the cerebellum their cerebellum was small but their cere Bear, uh, their cerebellum was small but their cerebrum had the cerebral hemispheres elongated means they had elongated elongated cerebral hemispheres and a small cerebellum These are some of the characters of 
uh, Archaeopteryx lithographica, which resembled with their reptiles. So they showed toothed jaws, they showed a very long tail with free caudal vertebra, and their cerebral uh, hemispheres were elongated, but they had a what we call as um, this uh, short uh, or very small cerebellum. Furthermore, they had non pneumatic bones. They had non pneumatic bones. Non pneumatic bones. The modern birds have hollow pneumatic bones, but these uh, fossil birds used to have non pneumatic bones. So, these are some of the characters of uh, these fossil birds which resembled with that of the reptiles. Now, after that, we will see the features of this uh, lizard bird which resembled with the Aves are the modern birds. Their uh, what we call as four limbs. Their four limbs. The four limbs of these birds. Four limbs were modified. Their four limbs were modified into wings. Just like the modern birds had a pair of wings, and these wings are basically modified four limbs. In the same manner, the lizard bird and all other toothed birds had a pair of wings and these wings were derived from their forelimbs. After that, the limbs were covered, uh, the forelimbs which are the wings, they were covered with the feathers and they had a rounded circle like that of the modern birds, rounded circle, rounded circle and they had uh, what we call as jaws elongated into a, a beak or their jaws uh, what we call as uh, got modified into the beak like that of the present day birds these are the features of uh, what we call as uh, this uh, lizard bird which resembles with the birds so by this we conclude that some of the features of archaeopteryx lithographica they resembled with the reptiles and some of them resembled with the aves. So, Archaeopteryx lithographica is a missing link. It is a missing link between, between reptiles and birds. What we conclude by studying the features of this uh, fossil bird is that it showed characters of reptiles and some characters of birds which means that it shows the possible pathway through which the birds have evolved from the reptiles. Basically, if, when we study the evolutionary biology, we say that the birds have basically evolved from the reptiles as is suggested by many evidences and one such evidence is the, uh, what we call as the, uh, these uh, toothed birds which lived on this planet about 180 million years ago, this lizard bird, Archaeopteryx lithographica, is also believed to have lived on this planet 180 years ago. They originated in the Jurassic period but became extinct in the, extinct in the Cretaceous period. But their characters, which are intermediate between those of the reptiles and the birds, suggest that the modern birds have basically evolved from some reptilian ancestors. That is why Huxley said birds as glorified reptiles. Birds are also known as glorified, glorified reptiles. This was said by Huxley. What we mean to say by saying that birds are basically glorified reptiles, it means that uh, the birds have basically originated in the past from some reptilian ancestors. Hope that you have understood what is the importance of <coughs> this, uh, what we call as Archaeopteryx lithographica and how it makes us to believe that basically the reptiles have uh, got evolved from, uh, sorry, basically the birds have got evolved from some of their reptilian ancestors. For other lectures, do subscribe your own channel, that's Mudabiris Biology Color.